Hey there, future nurses. Welcome to SimpleNursing.com's mini lesson series. I'm Nurse Mike, and I'm here to make your life easier and learning way more fun. So let's get this party started. Show stopping, booty popping, a a a a. Today, we're breaking down one of the most important skills that you'll need as a nurse, CNA, or healthcare pro, and that is checking vital signs. It's vital, not just for the NCLEX, but for real life patient care. And yes, we're talking about blood pressure, heart rate, O2 saturation, and all the good stuff. We'll make it stick so you can remember it when it counts most. All right, grab your coffee, your stethoscope, or maybe some popcorn. And if you remember, you're gonna wanna grab the study guide to follow along. All right, let's get started. Step one is all about getting your tools ready. You'll need a stethoscope, a blood pressure cuff, a thermometer, a pulse oximeter, a watch, gloves. Oh, and don't forget those trusty disinfectant wipes. Seriously, we don't want germs going viral. Cool? Got everything? Awesome. Now clean these babies up first with your disinfectant wipes. Patient safety starts here. Okay, now on to step two. Next, you're going to introduce yourself like the pro that you are. You'll say, hi, I'm nurse blank. I'll be checking your vital signs today. Is that okay? Super simple, right? Now, don't forget to verify the patient's ID with two identifiers. For example, their name and date of birth. And now it's hand hygiene time. We gotta make sure to put gloves on for the win. All right, our first measurement is pain. Why? Well, because pain can drive all other vital signs crazy high. So we use a zero to 10 pain scale. Zero means I'm chilling with no pain at all. And 10 is help, this pain is out of control. And a quick little pro tip here. Always ask follow-up questions if they say anything above zero. Like, where is this pain and what does it feel like? Is it burning, stabbing, radiating? Trust me, this information is gold for charting. So be sure to document it all like the rock star nurse that you are. Next up is O2 saturation, AKA SpO2. This little device is magic. Turn it on, pop it onto the patient's finger, and you'll get a reading in seconds. Now, a quick reminder here, make sure their hands are warm and pink for the best reading. Also avoid fingernail polish as it can throw off the reading. No polish parties here, folks. A normal O2 saturation is between 95 to 100. Anything below might mean your patient needs some intervention, like O2 therapy, which can be critical, right? And always be sure to clean your tools and document every single step. All right, now let's check that temperature. The normal adult range is 97 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, with an average of 98.6 orally. If it's over 100.4, well, hello, fever town. So simply push this device on their forehead Press the button and swipe to the hairline. Beep, beep. It's all done. Now listen, if your patient is sweating buckets, then simply swipe behind the ear for a better reading. All right? Oh, and don't forget to document the route you use to take the temperature. Now it's time to measure the heart's jam session, the pulse. We simply use the radial artery for adults. That's right under the thumb on the wrist. You simply take two fingers and not your thumb. Seriously, your thumb has a pulse too, and it will mess you up. So gently press and count for a full 60 seconds for accuracy, or count for 15 seconds and multiply by four for a quick hack. Remember, a normal pulse for adults is 60 to 100 beats per minute. If it's below 60, this means bradycardia, fancy words for a slow heart rate. Or maybe your patient is an athlete and they have a slower pulse. Now, if it's above 100, this is tachycardia, it could be indicative of pain, fever, or anxiety. So we always want to be sure to investigate. Now, don't forget to note the pulse strength and rhythm. Is it regular or irregular? This is key. Last but not least is blood pressure. Wrap the cuff around the upper arm, align the artery marker, and pump it up to about 170 millimeters of mercury. Slowly release the air while listening for those famous sounds. The first beat is systolic blood pressure, and the last beat is diastolic pressure. 
Remember, normal BP for adults is about 90 over 60 to 120 over 80. If it's above 140 over 90, well, then that's hypertension. So we say anything over 140, the heart says, oh, lordy. And anything below 90 over 60 is hypotension, which can be downright deadly. Bada bing, bada boom, you've got your blood pressure. So mark it down, disinfect your tools, and you're done. And just like that, folks, you're now equipped to take those vital signs. You're saving lives one reading at a time. Boom, we Gucci. Thanks for watching. Did you know you can unlock beautifully handcrafted study guides, packed with key points and memory tricks from all our videos? Plus, you'll get access to over 1,200 exclusive videos not on YouTube, all neatly organized by nursing school topic to make that complex nursing knowledge actually stick. You'll also gain thousands of practice questions written by current professors and actual NCLEX writers. So for access to all this and more, click right up here or visit simplenursing.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy studying, and we'll see you in the next videos.